I don't reckon we're ever going to get used to these signs, guys, are we? But they're fairly serious signs now, so they're going to be around for a while. Coolman Mountain Campground. Camping, toilets, water, no pets, no horses, no chainsaws, no rifles. Rugged north to the beautiful south to the centre. East, west, doesn't matter where. The four wheel drive tips and tricks and travel and information, you have come to the right place. Come for a ride with us at Mud Ducks Four Wheel Drive Tour. G'day everybody, Steve from Mud Ducks 4 Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. Hope you're well. Today we're at Coolman Mountain Campground in the Kosciuszko National Park. So, before we get into it, if you like this video, chuck a like on it. If you're new here, consider subscribing. If you do subscribe, click the bell for notifications and you'll know when a new clip comes out the old hands you guys are dead set legends always looking after me and supporting what I'm doing let's get into it walking in from the sign as you can see there's parks in fire bend at the moment so disappointing but down to the left enough room for one or two camps I'd say you have structured fireplaces which is nice. I like structured fireplaces, guys. I don't know if I've mentioned that before, but you know, they're there. They're ready to go. If you want to make a fire in them, why not use them? This one's got little bollards, of course, but the way it's designed down here, it's like you could back a camper trailer or a caravan down into this bit. And uh, it's sort of pretty nice, actually. And it comes around to the fire pit, which is even got a it's a it's a real pit. It's had a concrete ring which looks like it's been basically smashed up, but it's firewood here, but we're in fire bands, it's disappointing, I'll tell you. I got the gear to make a fire, but I can't make one. Oh well. So you've got enough room for a reasonable group there. You might not want to go too much further up this way because this is where the uh, the dunnies are which is a good thing it's nice to have dunnies at your campgrounds isn't it pit toilets of course because of where we are coming around behind the pit toilet we have another fireplace and a set of tables so uh, another area here you could camp it's not real level this bit the other bit was just that was a bit more level that you could work it so uh, another group or a couple of groups maybe in there 
and then you go just out there that's the end of the campground this road drives through it then on the other side you got the major part of the campground entryway is here Kaz and I camp down there on the right there she is so that gives you an idea of the space one car and tent can take up or a tent car and camper trailer so fire pit near us we've got our solar out there's a picnic table up here we think we're on the flattest bit because up from here you're climbing on the left side slightly smaller area do you do the same thing not structured fire pits but see what there's been fires so you can get quite a few groups in here so we'll just come up through this bit and there's some some more people camping up this way so i won't go right up to where they are but opens yet again on the left here more fire pits it's a little shed covering a water tank there water's supposed to be okay here then all those guys are camped up the top there where it's relatively flat so I won't go up there and disturb those people and then you've got this bit here and just a rough section here in the middle so it's not a huge drive from here if you're in a four wheel drive or two wheel drive in dry weather to go down to blue water holes and um, it's not a big drive from here to go down to the Coolerman Homestead for a look and uh, that gives you access to some hiking trails so that seems to be what's available in this part of the park mostly hiking the blue water holes for a bit of swimming and just camping in the bush I just stepped up to one of these tables here so I'm going to sit my backside down so that's it it's not a huge campground like I said half a dozen groups might might fill it but uh, it's not a bad spot and it's beautiful country mountains the elevation here is around about 1300 meters so it could get cold of a night and as you saw behind me there's a car so road cars can get here no troubles to this bit you would get in your, your car your camper trailer your tent your swag no problem at all i would bring a van in here i wouldn't find it a problem um off-road van would be better but i reckon you'd get a a fairly normal caravan in here too if you really wanted to well, that's pretty well got it done guys a little bit longer than some of the other ones i've shot recently but um still not huge hope you enjoyed this if you did please put a like on it, it makes a difference to the channel if you're new here consider subscribing into the old hands thanks again as always for taking the time to watch one of my clips and we will catch all of you guys just a little bit later on have a great one guys see ya you thought i was going to say cheers didn't you